Hello guys, this is your guy Fawson. I welcome you all once again to my guitar lessons channel. Today we are moving on straight to our seventh lesson which is going to be a quick one and it's just a build up on our previous lesson. So if you've not watched our previous lessons, just go to the description below this video. You get access to all the previous lessons, watch them and follow them. I'm saying this because if you don't understand the previous lesson, which is the C's lesson, this seventh lesson is going to be difficult for you. It's just a build up. We are just building on that lesson. And again, if today happens to be your first time watching my video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit on the notification bell, give a thumbs up to the video if you like it. You can comment your questions, your suggestions. If you have any questions concerning the lessons, just leave everything in the comment section below this video and I'll handle them for you perfectly. Yeah, today's lesson is what I call the knowing your octaves knowing your octaves on the guitar board how to know your octaves on the board in our previous lessons we got to know how to identify our notes and now we want to use the notes to identify our octaves now one may ask what are octaves octaves are basically two notes of the same name but with different pitches two notes of the same name but the pitches are different so we can have c c but different pitch you can have g g that is g notes g notes but different pitches so that is basically what we are going to look today and that is basically what octaves means octaves are two notes of the same name but different pitches just have that in mind yes do so this is how we are going to handle it and we are going to start from the low e string that is the thicker string this one this is the low e string so when you open it without your finger on any fret that is the e and the first fret from e when we we're in our previous lesson from e there is no e flat so here it comes what your f and then we have your f sharp and then g so for instance you want to find the octave for g so this is the g if you want to find the octave of these notes from the low E string, is two strings downwards off two frets. So over two strings downwards off two frets. So what it means is that this is our G. So two strings downwards, you go one, two. So you move towards the D string. And then off two frets. So you move one, two. So here becomes your octave. So this is the G, the octave for the G string, for the G note on the low E string is on the D string on the fifth fret. So this is the G. You see, they are the same notes, G, G, but this, this is the octave, the one on the D string on its fifth fret is the octave. And this one, is a bit higher so usually the octaves are higher the pitch is different from the main notes so this is the main notes and this is the octave so this G G so you can have G here G here but one is octave one is the main notes the octave is of high pitch so it's different notes with different names but with different pitches so this is G so the G on the low E string is on the third fret, and the eighth octave is on the D string on the fifth fret. So this is the G. So if you move forward the same position, the same finger position, but you move forward, you move one fret forward. So here becomes your G sharp, the same position. It travels like that from G sharp, you go to A, from A, A sharp. From A sharp B, from B you don't have B sharp, you move to C, so it travels like that. So that is that on the low E string. Now we want to find the octave using the A string. This is our A string. When you play it open, is the A notes. So the first fret is A sharp. From A sharp, you move toward B. There is no B sharp, so you, the next one is C. So 
So let's find the octave of the C note on the A string. So this is the C note. If you want to find its octave, it's the same the, the same process we use on the low E string. So over two strings downwards. So you go one, two. That will be the G string of two frets. One, two. So this is the C and the octave is. So the main note is on the A string, is on the third fret of the A string, and then its octave is on the G string, on the G string on the fifth fret. So this is how it is, the same position as we did on the low E string. So this is our C. When you move forward, it becomes your C sharp, from C sharp to D, from D, D sharp, from D sharp, E, from E, we don't have E sharp, so we move to F, it travels like that. So now, we are moving on to the D string, how to find the octave on the D string. This is our D string, this is the fourth string. In an open play is the D. From D, the first fret becomes what? A, B, C, D. But we have D sharp, so we have D sharp. From D sharp, you move toward E. We don't have E sharp, so we move to F. So let's find the octave for the notes F on the D string. So there's the F. And if you want to find the octave, this one is a bit different. The same two strings downwards, over two strings downwards, one, two. So you get to the B. But the octave is three frets ahead. That is off for off three frets. So this is how it goes. This is our F on the D string. And if you want to find the octave is over two strings downwards of three frets. So this is our F. You move forward F sharp G G sharp G sharp from G sharp A then it travels like that. So that's the only difference as to the as compared to the low E string and the and the A string. But on the D string, if you are finding the octave which will go to the B string, you have to move three frets ahead. So again, I'm going over, you just follow slowly again. Finding the G, you have the G notes on the low E string. If you want to find the octave, its octave is over two string downwards of two frets. So this is the G. G sharp it travels like that. The same way on the A string, we have our our C. These are C notes. And then, if you are finding the octave for C on this string on this fret, it's over two strings downwards of two frets. So this is our C, and then its octave. But when you are finding the octave on the D string, it's different because we are moving to the B string. So this is our these are notes, these are notes, this is the F. So F, if you want to find its octave, which is over two strings downwards of three frets. So this one is different. This one you move three frets ahead. And then now we are going to look at the last way to find our octave using the low E string and the high E string. These two strings are the same. Just that this one is low, this one is high. So in finding the octave, for instance, if you have your G, its octave on the high E string is the same position. So here is the G, this note on the third fret, the G on the high E string will be also on the third fret. So you have your G, you have your G is like this. So this and this, the same third fret, so G, G sharp, and then A, it travels like that. So these are the four main ways 
to identify our octave on the guitar. If you are using the low E string, the octave is two strings downwards from there and then off two frets. If you are using this, the A string, the same procedure, two strings downwards off two frets. But if you are using the D string, it's different because you go two strings downwards and then off three frets. Why are we going off three frets on the B string? Because the B string is tuned a note ahead of all the strings. The B string is tuned ahead of what all the strings is one fret ahead of all the strings. When you get to how to identify how to tune the guitar, you will know what I, I, I'm talking about. So the B string is different from all the strings. It is tuned one note ahead of all the strings. That's why on the B string you move three frets ahead. And then the last one it is the E to B is the same fret, the same position that makes that, that will give you the octave. Thank you for watching the video. This is exactly what we are going to do for today. Keep practicing. Try to memorize these things. The main objective for this lesson is to help you to flow very well on the guitar when we are dealing with scales, when we are de dealing with pentatonic scales and other scales on the guitar. If you know your notes and then you know your octaves, you can flow very well you can run on the guitar without making mistakes. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to this channel. Give a thumbs up to the video if you like it. Your comments, your suggestions are highly welcome. Share this channel to anybody you think he or she might be interested in learning the guitar. Have a nice weekend. Goodbye.